Okay, for number three, we have an inequality, and it's asking us to express our answer two different ways. Interval notation and number line. Now, interval notation, you should ne not have any x's in there. So it should not be x is greater than or x is less than. That's not interval notation. Interval notation is the one that involves parentheses or brackets with infinities, and you're putting commas in there. You know, I'm putting that, that kind of notation in there. That's what they want by interval notation. So we're first going to solve this, but then our answer we want to write with interval notation, and then we're going to do number line. Let's start by solving this one. The first thing I'll do is rewrite the problem. Okay, uh, so what we want to do is get x by itself. So we're going to first start by subtracting 9 from both sides. Now, the only time that you switch an inequality symbol is when you're dividing or multiplying by a negative number. If you're adding or subtracting with negative numbers, that does not change the sign. Okay, so this one we're not changing the sign. We're going to leave that 8x greater than negative 15 minus 9. That gives you negative 24. Then we're just going to divide both sides by 8, and we get x is greater than negative 3. This is not interval notation. We want to express this with interval notation. Now, if you're unsure how to do that, what I recommend is doing the number line first, and then you can get your answer uh, more easily from the interval notation. This says x is greater than negative 3. Okay, so I'll, I'll just label this, or I'll just look at my number line where negative 3 is that's on there. And then greater than means it's going to be going to the right towards positive numbers. Now you can either use a parenthesis on this, or if you'd like to use the open circle notation, that's okay as well. So we'll use open circle notation, and that means that that's going to be, we'll draw it going to the right, and this would be the correct number line uh, drawing for this one. Now, from this, I need to convert this over into interval notation. If I have an open circle, I'm going to use parentheses. If I have a closed circle, I'm going to use brackets. So this one's an uh, open circle, which means I'm going to put a parenthesis. I'm going to put negative 3 on there, and then I'm going to have it go to infinity. If this ends up being a fraction, then what you can do is you can divide the fraction in your calculator and get a decimal equivalent, and then you'll know exactly where to plot that along the line there. So you should know how to, how to uh, work with these with whole numbers, but you should also do some problems where you have fractions come up because that's a possibility as well.